Okay, I'm going to start a video this morning. Um, I'm going to make a, a, an additional uh, weight hook uh, for the, for the uh, weight on the um, regulator clock. Um, I made one a while back, and, uh, but these days I've been experimenting with uh, different amounts of weight. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to make one more and uh, that way I won't have to move the hook that I have from one weight to another. That's the purpose. So I made a little sketch of what I'm going to do. Well, you can see that there. Um, so I just, I'm just going to take, I have a piece of 7 8 diameter steel here, a couple inches long, and that's going to make it. That's uh, all I need to do. And uh, so I'm going to do the work on the, uh, I'm going to try to do all the work on the TIG, little TIG uh, micro lathe and the TIG micro mill. So that's, uh, that's a picture of it. And, um, you know, here's one of the weights. Uh, this weight weighs about six pounds. And it's threaded on both ends, actually. It's got a female thread on both ends. Um, I did that so I could add additional weight to it and then one end for the, for the hook. So um, I've got a piece of, um, let, me, let me get zoomed in on the, on the, um, the work here. And um, I've got a piece of um, material chucked up in the fore jaw right now. On the little TIG micro uh, lathe. And um, all I had was a piece of 7 8 material. What I actually needed was a piece of 3 quarters. So I'm going to take a part portion of this down to 3 quarters. So I'm going to be I'm going to be turning the camera off and on a few times during the process and also I'll have to move it between the lathe and the mill uh, also. So I'm going to be doing um, quite a few, actually this little hook takes quite a few operations. So um, quite a few different setups. It's, uh, it's a simple little thing but uh, <laughs> not so simple as far as the amount of setups I have to do to, to, to get it built. So I'm just going to um, uh, take make some passes here on the lathe and take this piece of seven eighths down to three quarters for about uh, for about an inch of uh, one inch long a portion of it. <clears throat> so here we go. Okay, that's where we want to be. Well, now I'm going to take another portion of this down uh, to a half an inch. And that portion is 7 eighths of an inch. So I'm going to measure 7 eighths of an inch here. What's that? 875, right?
me get set up here. Get my stop set up and we'll bring you back in a second. Okay, back again. I've got a, um, a one inch micrometer down here. So all I did was run it out from zero to 875. So um, I know exactly that I'm gonna get 70, I mean, um, <laughs> seven eighths of an inch, so. And I'm gonna take this from, th from um, three quarters down to um, half inch. So I need to There's zero right there. Okay, that was the finished pass. Looks pretty nice. Um, I'm going to change tool bits here quickly. And um, we got one edge we need to chamfer. And then we got to set up with a ball turning uh, tool to cut a ball on the end of this. So that's that'll be the next setup. 
See if I got something to chamfer this with around here. Here we go. That should be good enough. Now I'm going to shut the camera again and um, get ready to um, get ready to cut a ball end on the end of this. Then we're going to have to go to the mill. Well, I have to I have to use the lathe on the other end of this piece of steel, and then we'll go to the mill and we have to flatten this area. Um, it becomes a flat 3 sixteenths of an inch thick but we need to put the ball end on it first so the top has a radius on it so if that makes any sense so I'm going to shut you shut the camera off set up set up to cut the ball end and then um, we'll, uh, we'll we'll bring you back Okay, I'm back. This um, this radius turner of uh, tags leaves a lot to be desired, but it's what I have. One of these days, I've attempt, I've decided to build one off and on, but I never seem to get around to it. So, uh, not a wonderful situation. But that said, I'm set up here. I think uh, let me let me reset up my micrometer someplace here. Okay. I don't know if I can make this or not. I, I uh, probably should be sticking out further, but I had to switch chucks. I switched to the four jaw. Um, Chuck, scroll chuck, and um, so I'm gonna. I'm taking off about ten thousandths each time. And I gotta run this at ten thousandths. I probably gotta run it maybe a little slower than this. Yeah, a little bit slower. It's only a quarter of an inch because it, uh, the radius is a quarter of an inch, right? It's a half inch diameter, so each time I just put ten thousandths on the micrometer move in the carriage, lock it, and then um, go for it.
I did have the depth stop set, but I realized that I didn't want to go too deep. But and we're not there yet, I don't think so. Although I think we're getting damn close. Yeah, we're, I can tell we're, we're there. Well now let's see. Gotta be careful you don't run this thing into the chuck. Okay, at this point, I think I'm going to um, go about five thousandths, make a finish cut. Oops, let's see. I'm going to run the speed up a little bit. No. See if I can get the see how close I'm getting to the end. I thought I was there, but maybe I'm not. Let's see if I can I gotta get the magnifying glass over here. Zoom out a little bit. Yeah, I'll try a couple more passes. It looks like I'm pretty close. Okay, I think I'll be satisfied with that. So, you know, not a wonderful ball turner or radius turner. Definitely not a ball turner, but it's not a wonderful radius turner either. But I have used it before and it's got me gotten the job done as long as I just needed a radius. So, I got a nice radius on there, no problem. So I'm going to um, I'm going to switch chucks now back to the four jaw, and I'm going to set this thing up with the other end, with this end and the chuck, and I've got to take this end down to uh, to a quarter twenty thread is what it is, and there's a shoulder in here. This this is an eighth of an inch. This portion here. So, and then we'll get get over to the mill and 
and flatten this out. And then the tricky part start, starts. We got to cut the slot in there. So if you look at the diagram, the stud down here is a quarter twenty. That threads into the weight. This is three sixteenths of an inch uh, piece of flat. Uh, so right now it's a right now it's a it's a um, it's a round, right? So we got to take some off of both sides in the mill. And then the tricky part is that we're going to drill a hole in it then, and then we got to cut the slot in there. And I think the slot's supposed to be about forty five degrees. So that's uh, that's where we're headed. So I'm going to shut the camera off, get reset up here with the chuck. Um, this is. I'm using, I like this little four jaw that comes with the tag. It's, a, it's, it's heavy, but it's a nice little chuck. And um, I can set it up perfectly. So um, I pretty much, this is my go to chuck. Unless I'm doing something that really doesn't matter. Um, so anyway, I'll shut the camera off. I'll bring you back in a few. Okay, back again. I'm, st I'm beginning to take, I've got the stink chucked up in the four jaw again, and I'm beginning to take it down to a quarter of an inch. Um, then we're going to put a quarter twenty thread on it. After that, um, I'm going to have to build a piece of, uh, let's say a piece of half inch dowel with a female quarter twenty that I can use to uh, later on in order to chuck this up without damaging the threads. So I'll show you that. Uh, when we get to it. And um, so I'm going to make a few passes here and we're going to get take this down to about a quarter of an inch or maybe five thousandths under.
Okay, um, we got what we need. We're down to um, a quarter of an inch, and uh, so we need to cut this off. Uh, I need about I don't need all of this uh, area right here. I need about three quarters of an inch. It's not exactly, it doesn't have to be exactly right, but somewhere thereabouts. So, um, we need to change the um, tool post and um, there's something we can cut it off with here. Oh, a lot of swarf. Okay. Okay. Let me get the... Let me shut the camera for a second because we don't want to make get this video too long. I'm going to have to fast forward through most of it anyway. Um, so let me get the tool post changed and, and get the uh, parting tool set up and... and um, We'll cut it off. Okay, I just changed the tool post, and um, all I did was just just put a scale here, and that looks like three quarters of an inch. So that's about what we need. We need to um, let me zoom out a little bit because I'm, I'm going to be in the way here. This is not going to be good for the camera. We need to cut about a quarter of an inch off that. go now what we need to do at this point in case I have to put this back in the lathe for any reason at all what I'll do is I'll put a very small little tiny center in the end of that and we're going to uh, we need to chamfer this edge and th actually I might chamfer that a little bit but that really doesn't need chamfered so, um, <clears throat> with that, let's uh, take out the parting tool. And see if we can find a something to chamfer with here. Um, seems like I had something at one time. There. Well, there we go. We're going to have to put a thread on this, so I'm going to put a nice little chamfer on the end of it. Good enough. So we can reach this. I don't know if we can reach this or not. Getting pretty close to the chuck there. Okay, let's. Um, Uh, 
we're done with the chamfer tool so we can get it out of our way okay so I'll bring you back here in a few minutes when I get set up to uh, to cut the threads on there we got a clear shot there I'm gonna put a little little small center in here I got actually I got a smaller center than that but let's just use that one that's okay should suffice if we ever need to put that back in the lathe again. So I'll bring you back in a minute. Let me get the die set up and we'll cut the quarter inch thread on there. <clears throat> okay. I'm getting this die on here. You can see the setup. I had to change the uh, the chuck on the tailstocks to to accept a half an inch. I had a quarter inch chuck on there before. So now I, what I've got to do is back this die off here and um, turn it around so I can get the thread up as close as possible to this flange because this has got to screw down tight to the top of the uh, the clock weight. So. some of the chips out of here I guess well, you can at least see what's going on there I guess <laughs> maybe not okay back the tailstock off a little bit here Looks like it kind of chewed the end up there getting started, but that's okay. That won't matter. Ah. I can turn that off a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the die around and uh, get it threaded. This back up against this flange as far as I can and um, so I'll bring you back and then I'm gonna put the parting tool back on and uh, relieve that a little bit so if I, I want to make sure it does screw down tight and I'll find a quarter inch nut around here someplace and so I can test it anyway let me uh, bring you back in a second okay I've turned the die around here I'm going back on this thread this uh, this mild steel this is a uh, I guess 1018 mild steel it's a little and also I only relieve the uh, the thread by 5,000 so it's a little bit tough We've got it chucked up in the four jaw, so the four jaw usually will hold it for this size thread. Not always. 
these uh, small lathe is a little bit hard to um, or these chucks are a little bit hard to get things you know but maybe we can get going on here seems to be going okay okay we're up tight That's good. Let's see if we can back this off here. Oops, we're coming out there. One of these days I'm going to put the reverse on this lathe motor. <laughs> I don't need it very often, but sometimes it'd be handy. I guess that sort of got it okay um, the camera ran out of memory so I don't know what we missed here but um, I did go in and and uh, put all the segments of this video uh, on the computer so I realized that it's getting quite long so uh, this I guess this completes the lathe work so we'll call this part one I guess because this like I say it's getting pretty long and um, so we still got this thing chucked up here uh, let's see if I can find the here we go so let's we're gonna take this out of the four jaw now we're done so it's been chucked up all this time okay there's what we've got let's see here So, uh, so here's what we've got. We've got this this end here that we're going to put in the mill and make flat, okay? And then we've got the threaded end that's going to go into the the weight. And uh, let me get the weight over here. Well, here, hang on. rather than big bring over the six pound weight here's just a piece of uh, weight I got a bunch of uh, pieces like this uh, that I can add on to to vary the weight the weight on the clock right so I can experiment with it anyway here's just a chunk of steel with a quarter inch thread in it right so we're gonna th this this threads into here I don't know if this hole's deep enough maybe not this hole's not deep enough but uh, anyway that's that's it that's how it works and this flange screws down tight into the regular weight so this hole here is just a short short depth um, let's see about this end this end is probably the same yeah it's just a short depth so anyway you got the idea so that's where we're at that completes the lathe work and uh, none of this is critical but we're gonna we're gonna make this uh, flat on each side, and what's the the portion in the middle that's left will be three sixteenths of an inch thick, and then we're gonna drill a hole through it and put a slot. So uh, again, I'll remind you. I'll put the drawing here up in front of the camera so you can see what it's gonna look like, and it's it's in it's in reverse to me, so <laughs> hopefully it's right. Anyway. So, okay, uh, let me sign off now, and um, we'll post this as part one, and uh, and we'll get started on the mill and, and get part two done. So, with that, I'll call off. Thanks for watching. Bye.